Hello and welcome to another masterclass, not a masterclass, masterclass. I'm Gubert, and on today's episode, we're going to be fine tuning models from someone who doesn't know how to code. And we're going to be using Lamini, which is supposed to be democratizing fine tuning for people like entrepreneurs for free. Now, uh, in the previous episodes that I made, uh, we fine tuned using OpenAI. And as I shrink myself over here, I'm going to explain to you when you have other open source models like Llama and Hugging Face models, you're going to be fine tuning, but you're going to be using either cloud GPU, which you're renting out or for free on Google Colab with a limited GPU, or you're going to be fine tuning on your own computer. So you have either your own servers or a cloud. Basically, you need GPU to fine tune. When you use OpenAI, I guess you just pay them for the fine tuning and then their API runs and it's like a few dollars depending on your data and you have your fine tuned models ready to deploy. So I guess the difference is that with open source models, you kind of can download it locally, run it how you want. With OpenAI, you have to um, use their services, which I haven't had a problem with. So I'm not exactly sure when you should go open source and when you can just use OpenAI. Maybe it's cheaper to go open source. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I'm just experimenting with different methods. And on today, because Lam and I promises that they're making this for everybody, you can actually fine tune for free. So if you're testing things out, uh, it doesn't cost a dollar. They give you free credits. You can fine tune within 15 minutes. They use distilled models of big ones like Llama, little smaller versions that, uh, you, which is why they're able to offer them for free. And all we're just gonna go here and we're gonna create a PDF reader that can fine tune through Llama, so you have an agent you can talk to on a PDF, depending on whatever data. So we're just gonna go to Google Scholar, and we're gonna drag a PDF. We're gonna say caffeine effects, effects of caffeine on human behavior. And I'm gonna download this. So I'm gonna get the DOI. I'm gonna go to Sci-Hub database. If you're a scholar student, you know, you should know about this. You go to Sci-Hub, you enter your DOI, and boom, you got a free PDF. So I'm gonna download it. All right, I'm gonna call this caffeine. And now we're gonna fine tune. So a lot of times people would use Google Colab to fine tune Lamini, and you have the instructions here, how to do it, etc. For some reason, I don't like using Google Colab. I'm, I'm just not comfortable. I wanted to run it on uh, Replit because I, I just like having things in Replit because it's more native to me and my process. So I found a way to do that. Now there's this that explains in more detail how to go about this the, better than Lamini in my opinion. I was able to run this successfully by reading this article. And it tells you the pip installs that you need to get it tells you how to format your data, which is important. Okay, follow this format. Now you can use a GPT API that you can tell it, give it the data set, and it'll restructure it to the format JSON that you need, which I'll provide for you in the link in the description, where you just plug in your file, you run it, and you get your JSON formatted in Laminite in seconds. So what you gotta do is format your data, okay? Uh, and you're gonna submit it for fine tuning. So here, for example, I have uh, the last episode, I did the ZGM tweets and I ran it through. It's actually able to take your plain folder, right? You run this code and it'll instantly format it for you. Uh, all you have to do is use your OpenAI key, upload your file right here and uh, change the file name right here and it'll do it in seconds and you'll have like a formatted JSON for Llama uh, perfectly ready and if you uncomment this part which I'll provide a link in the description it'll format it for you for OpenAI so if you want to fine tune AI you can just use this code give it the CVS the CSV and it'll automatically fine tune it for, uh, not fine tune it format the data for you so anyways this is the code 
once you, uh, this is the code right here. I've uh, already ran it. And once you run it, it will submit the fine tuning test to Laminite. So all you have to make sure is that you put in your API key, which you'll get from here. Okay, make sure you create a new token. Don't use this existing one. For some reason, it never worked for me. Create your API key. Uh, and right here, that's all you really have to do, as well as put the file name when you upload your JSON file. Okay, you do that, you run it, and the, the training job should be submitted. Okay, if you're having any errors, refer to ChatGPT, but also make sure that if you're copying this code directly to do the pip installs, use this article that I found, you do the pip installs, make sure you get it all right. So here you see fine tuning job has been submitted, click train, and you'll see that the model has been done and you'll get this model ID. So this is the model ID that now you can use to deploy in your own code and that's it. You've fine tuned Laminite in just, just these simple steps. Now it takes about 15 minutes. This is something I've already done. Um, you can use it in the playground to test it out. So here it's terrible, terrible response, but for some reason the playground never works for me. Um, unless I've used like really large formats of data. They say the minimum is 100 is for best. Name of the file that you're gonna upload. Right, we're gonna go to documents. Uh, right here, upload the caffeine file, make sure it's the correct name. And the moment you run this, it will submit the file and it'll ingest it. And then you, for some reason this code, if you change the file after it's ingested it, it won't um, recall the new file you've input it. So I think what's happening is taking it, it's ingesting it, and then it's just Q and A based on that. I haven't gotten past this point, but at least you have a working template. And from there you can amend it on yourself. What, what you're gonna do is you're gonna enter the intro message right here. So we're gonna say, ask questions about caffeine. And then you're gonna prompt your science expert caffeine data. And this is the format that it's gonna use. And now I'm just gonna run it. So again, if it's not working, make sure you do pip install, uh, Lamini pip install, Halos, Langchain, etc. And work out through the errors that you get in ChatGPT or ask me in the comments. Again, this is all in the link in the description. Now we're gonna run it. So you can see some wrapper going on. It's becoming a wrapper, Python wrapper. And ideally you should get the intro message pop up You just gotta wait for it. There you go. So, what are the side effects of caffeine? And this format will even source for you the PDF uh, part that it extracted. So it's searching the vector base. It's gonna extract the, there you go. Side effects of caffeine include increased anxiety, jitteriness, nervousness, uh, increased heart rate, et cetera, et cetera, insomnia, and then it gives you all the sources of the references that it used from this article. Um, how many cups should we drink? So it's perfect for creating summaries, um, finding, sifting through large amounts of data, there you go, important to know that caffeine sensitive varies from person to person. Look at that, it gives you all the sources. Very, very cool. And this is using the free APIs. So at some point you will run out. Um, like I said, I haven't been able to work past changing the PDF. So once you do this, um, it should work fine. But when you get a new API and enter it, you can put in a new PDF. Maybe you gotta change the loop. Maybe you gotta tell the model how to exit. I haven't figured that out right. But if you want to ready code to fine tune on a PDF to do Q&A through Lamini for free, you've got it right here. Uh, in my experience, we've run out of code. I mean, credits within a few questions because on the free version, and then you have to pay 
Um, I think it's 10 cents per credit. And yeah, there you have it. Um, it's simple as that. Free fine tuning, free testing. And then when you're ready to actually use this on real scale, uh, that's when you start paying for it. Um, interesting product, interesting experiment. Do subscribe to this channel if you like free value, but only subscribe if you're an action taker because we're trying to build a tribe of action takers. I don't want no pity subs. No, no, no squabblers over here. Don't skew my data. If you're an action taker, hit subscribe. Let's go. Let's use this data. Let's use this free open source things because I'm someone who utilized free information and got a lot of value from it. And now I'm sharing it with everybody else. So let me know in the comments what you're experiencing and let's go on this no code journey together. Again, I don't know code yet. I'm doing these things um, because I've spent the time and the focus to try and figure this out and we're getting there. So thank you for tuning in. See you in the next one where we try and fine tune Llama to Peace out.